Hello, welcome back, my name is Alex and I'm glad you're here. We continue to make this cool platformer and I hope I won't lose my enthusiasm till the end of this video, as I usually do. This time we have a task to stop endless jump and I wanna make double jump for the player. If you like in this video, please subscribe so you won't miss any updates. So here is my project from the last video and I'm going to open the script. To stop endless jump, we need to make a condition for a jump, so player won't be able to use jump at any time. And condition for this would be that player should be on the ground. And for that we're gonna use collision check. I'm gonna show you how. And it's actually very easy, so there is no doubt you'll understand how it works. Let's just type header, open parenthesis, and in the quotation marks we're gonna type collision info. Then we need transform to know the position of the player, and I'm gonna make it private with a serialized field so I can see it but still it's not available for everyone. Then we need float, so we can set up radius for this check. And one more serialized field, and it's gonna be layer mask, so we actually know what is ground. So this check will work only for ground and for the platforms. And finally, just one more boolean is grounded. Now let's go all the way down, and we're gonna create new function for collision checks. So I'm just gonna type private void, collision check. Hit shift enter, and inside we're gonna type is grounded equals to physics 2d and let me just select it here type overlap circle yeah ground check position ground check radius and what is ground as a layer mask now this overlap will work but we cannot actually see it so we can make it visible with the use of function on draw gizmos so i'm just gonna type private void on draw gizmos or even better next time you can just type on draw gizmos and hit enter. Now I'm gonna just write gizmos dot draw wire sphere and we're gonna do check from ground check position in the ground check radius. Now let's go to update and call function from here. So we'll check collision every update. In the jump function we're just gonna check if is grounded and then we do what we did before. Now we're going to select the player, create empty object and I'm gonna name it ground check, drag it to the inspector of the player and now we need to choose what is ground but we don't have the layer yet so let's go to layers and click add layer. Right here we're gonna create new layer so I'm gonna just name it ground. Then I'm gonna go back to player, what is ground, I'm gonna choose ground. Select platform we have and change layer from default to ground. Now back to player, we need to set ground check radius and I'm not sure what number it should be, so I'll try 0.5. Now let's take ground check and move it to the feet of the player. And I can see it's a bit big, so I'm gonna try 0.4, move it down a little bit and I guess it will work for us. And yeah, it doesn't matter how many times I press the button, he'll jump only if he's on the ground. And now that we have ground check, we can make jump and fall animation. So let's go to animation, create new clip. I'm gonna go to animations folder and name it player jump. Let's go to player folder, find jump sprite and drag it here. Now we're gonna create new clip, it's gonna be player fall. Drag the sprite and let's go to animator now. We can delete these animations cause we're gonna use them in a different way. Click right button and choose create new blend tree. Blend tree is used to blend between animations according to different parameters. So we're gonna select it and name it just as a jump fall. Now double click to open and we need to rename the parameter first. So let's just type Y velocity here. Now we're gonna click this plus sign to add motion field and we're gonna do it twice, once for fall and second one for jump. And no worries, in a second I'm gonna explain how it's gonna help us. Now let's uncheck automate threshold and we're gonna set here minus one. Now watch this, if Y velocity is negative, we do doing transfer to player fall animation and if it's a positive, we go into player jump and this parameter we need to control from the code. First let's make transition to jump fall from any state. You just click right button and choose make transition. Now we need condition for this transition and we're gonna move to jump fall if player is not grounded. So I'm going to hit this plus icon, choose boolean, name it is grounded and then I'm just gonna move it up here. Now let's select transition and add new condition is ground that false, exit time should be unchecked, transition duration 0 and pay attention here we need to uncheck can transit to self. Now let's make transition back to idle, condition should be is grounded true and same value for duration and exit time. Now we need to go back to code and set boolean of the animator, so we're just gonna type anim set bool is grounded and set it to is grounded. Right after that we need to set float of the y velocity and we're gonna set it equals to velocity of the rigid body on the y axis. 
So just anim set float y velocity and rb velocity dot y. And tada, he can jump and fall, run, flip, and he's gonna do more. Yeah, you can be proud of yourself for achieving this point. Congratulations! <laughs> Now there is a big chance you wanna transfer this game to your phone later on so you can show off in front of your friends or your mom. We're gonna change code a little bit so later on you can call this function from the UI button. Let's make private function and I'm gonna call it jump button. This method will work just as a button, as if we would press space key for example. So I'm gonna cut out condition if grounded, paste it in here and inside of curly brackets I'm just gonna call jump function. Let me clean it a little bit now let's go to update and instead of jump we're gonna call jump button whenever we press space key and while we are working on jump any self-respecting platformer should have double jump so I'm gonna go up here and create private boolean can double jump and yes it's gonna be that simple it's gonna be used to define if we can double jump or not and we're going back to jump button because here we're gonna define if we can do double jump so I'm just gonna type else if can double jump then first we need to set can double jump to false and then just write jump and now check this out man he can run jump and can he do double jump nah not yet and there is very simple reason for that and if you watched my last video carefully you know that boolean by default is false and actually we never set it to true so our player just cannot do double jump but we need to do it so for the time being i'm gonna use update function and what i'm gonna do is just type if is grounded then can double jump true so whenever we're on the ground we set can double jump to true now boys and girls if i'm anyhow useful to you please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment so i can know what i can do better regarding this bug that he is sticking to the wall we're gonna fix it in the next video see you